<laughs> this is what happens when you do laundry in the rain. <laughs> you have to run outside with an umbrella to cover it for the few raindrops because damn it, the sun will come out. It will. <laughs> Good job, honey. Good job. We're Andre and Lisa, full-time travelers and nomads since 2018. Last year, we bought a camper van in Europe. And after spending most of winter in Spain, we've set off on an epic 12-month, 20,000-kilometer adventure, planning to make our way from the south of Spain to the north of Scandinavia and back to southern Italy. After five weeks in Portugal, two weeks in northern Spain and another month in France, we now find ourselves in Belgium for the next leg of our trip. Please subscribe to join our adventure. Welcome to We're Luxembourg! <laughs> we made it to Luxembourg! Woohoo! Luxembourg! I'm just quite excited about Luxembourg. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it's such a small country and it has a bit of an allure to it. Allure. 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 It I'm sounds almost like fairy tale like. Apparently, a very expensive country except for the fuel and the alcohol and cigarettes. So, we're going to start drinking and smoking. Yeah, we have to. Those are the rules. <laughs> Those are the rules. We we're rushing to get a check in. Very lucky, love. It was to Luxembourg City. Yes. And I think we are actually going to make it. I guess we go in there. Yeah. Yeah. I have to go on this. Yeah. We're very happy that we managed to make the midday check-in time. We're at Camping Kogelskur and it's 23 euro a night, all inclusive, electricity and free Wi-Fi, which is always a bonus for us when we're in a country for only a few days. It's a pretty big campsite, but even now in May, they are fully booked at the moment. So we actually needed to make a reservation. Surprising. <laughs> nice, spacious green spots with lots of shade, which is good if you want the shade. In our case, it's not so good because our solar is not going to work very well. The next day. <laughs> Thanks for breakfast, love. Good morning. Good morning. We got a really good breakfast this morning. Some smoked salmon, fresh warm croissants, abo, which is really exciting because it's coming towards the end of the season. No, these abos are definitely not from Europe. They're from Chile, I think. Sun's sort of out. We're going to finish our breakfast, go up on the bike. We're going to get out of here. Long day. Let's go explore Luxembourg. Mm. Well, definitely no, we won't be doing any shopping because this place is way too expensive. What do you mean? We've got a list of things we've got to shop for today. <laughs> yeah. You guys won't <laughs> guess what. Where's your helmet? Where's my helmet? Not on my head. Are you ready for... I'm ready for Luxembourg. I don't even know what we're going to be doing today. Ah, uh, well... I think Luxembourg is actually so small. So we're gonna go to Luxembourg city city and we're gonna walk around there, enjoy the beautiful views. We're not going into museums. We're not going to see and do things. We're just gonna enjoy what is apparently a very beautiful city. Ready for Luxembourg city? <laughs> I have realized that I might need to buy some underwear <laughs> and t-shirts. You know guys, I'm struggling really hard to find plain black t-shirts with no branding on them. Maybe it's a sign that you should wear more exciting clothing. Can't explain energy on thinking what to wear. Okay, let's hit the road. Ready? Where are we going? Do I know where we're going. Do you know where we're going? No idea. I just don't need to go where I'm going. Goodbye, Millie. Even though we're out cycling with Bike Mike, it's actually really easy to get around in Luxembourg because all public transport is free. We're too lazy. We don't like waiting. We prefer to ride bike Mike and get to see a little bit more and be in charge of our own time. Bike Mike all locked up and secure. Oh no! What does it do? Yeah. Quick stop at the cathedral in the crypt. Pretty cool. Oh, we got lucky that the orchestra was playing while we were there. And For the crypt was open. Microsecond. And the skateboarding at the same regard place. Even better. Even better. <laughs> it's not. People are admiring our bicycle. Curving over bike. bike. Uh, watching you guys. <laughs> okay, and pass some wisdom on uh, Luxembourg. Uh, oh, I don't know anything about Luxembourg. I've only mm. just arrived. Ask me at the end of the day. So we're off. Right. So this is what we're going to do. Hockey. 
And we are now in the center of the village. We are at the Parti de Constitution. See, ah. there's Bike Mike. They even drew Bike Mike in. There's no there. bicycle parking, <laughs> they're lying. That's the cathedral. We parked across from that, yes. And we're going to walk all the way around along the edge over here, see beautiful views up to the tunnels, which are currently closed. I know. Around and around and around, explore the town and come back here and then hopefully go to the gardens. Okay. This is the First World War. I'm not sure what this is. Norwegia, <laughs> Afrik, the North. Mine's so that was First World War, first Second second World War, yeah. and yeah. Korean War. The only problem with Luxembourg being such a small country and so centrally located is that it's a great place for a day trip. So you find loads and loads of these tour groups from everywhere. <laughs> Luckily they move quite slowly, so we can outpace them. <laughs> but we, we keep catching up to the next group, that's the problem. Where are we going? This way. I think we're supposed to walk all the way around this wall to see all the scenic viewpoints. So you can see that's like the edge of the old city. Oh, okay, okay. Look at the cool wall. Wow, amazing. Oh, check this uh, section down here at the bottom. Oh, yeah. That also looks like a look medieval around. gate of some sorts. And then you see the fancy modern buildings mm. in the background. Office buildings to the top. The city of justice. Wait, what happened to that guy's canopy? Hmm. Okay, well, let's go look around this old section and go see where the mayor lives. What do you think these guys are? It's the Luxembourgian red spider. <laughs> they look creepy. They're absolutely miniature, but they're definitely spiders. But other than the spiders, look how beautiful this is. What are you looking at? I think I could walk around Luxembourg all day. Well, you might have to because your sense of direction is a bit shoddy. It's just so pretty. Oh, look at that cool bridge down there. No, oh. I can't see things. But I mean, looking this way, it's really picturesque. Rather quiet as well, even though uh, there's pockets of people. Um, obviously at the sites there's uh, groups of tourists, yeah. but out here walking around it's very peaceful. Oh, that's nice. You can go lie in those yellow chairs. <laughs> yes, you run down and go lie in those chairs and I'll wait here and wave. Hello Lisa, how are you doing? I'm winning! <laughs> Team number one, baby. Team number one! Ooh. Look at that! All alone on the top of Luxembourg. <laughs> Top of Luxembourg, is it? Top of Luxembourg. Call me the Duchess and the Duke. Duchess and Duke of Luxembourg. Can I rename it if I become the Duchess and the Duke? What do you like to call it? I would like to call it Luxembourgia. 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 Luxembourg will be known as Luxembourgia. The Grand Palace, where it's the official residence of the Duke and the Duchess of Luxembourg. And you can do guided tours, but only in summer. But you can come here and watch the gods march up and down. Can I drink my coffee yet? No. no I your coffee. No, coffee. no, no. Coffee. no, no. Okay, well, you're going to pay a penalty because you're going to forfeit oh, your little chocolate. We don't normally suggest eating and drinking in Luxembourg because it's very expensive. But this wasn't too bad. This is €8.80 for two cappuccinos and two almond croissants. Yeah. Not that bad. I've, I've seen worse. You should be drinking beer because beer is more mm. it's cheap here. Mm. 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 That's a bloody good ah, cappuccino. Do you like coffee now? Oh look, you, look, you forgot something on your, on your 
Hey, don't do my chocolate. What do you mean your chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's pretty much the sights of Luxembourg for us. We didn't do much sightseeing. Uh, I'm gonna do some practical things. I'm gonna pop, pop into H-E-M. 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 It's called H-E-M. 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 Because apparently they got plain black v-neck t-shirts. The impossible thing to find. I'll check it out. Yeah, I gotta give you coffee, give you some energy to go shopping. Because one you. thing Andre hates is shopping. The only thing I like more than shopping for t-shirts is shopping for underwear. <laughs> hey Lisa. I just let Lisa shop for underwear. <laughs> Andre is so out of his comfort zone. He hates doing this. Ooh, that looks a bit small. But at least there's a choice here. Okay, can we go now? Look what I got. <laughs> Did you take the wall? Yeah, it looks some plastic or what? So here's, a, here's an interesting thing. Apparently I wear small t-shirts now. What's happening to the sizing situation in this place? No idea. But the good thing is you got t-shirts. I took all the small <laughs> v-neck blacks they have. There's four of them. Now let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Boom. <sighs> okay, can we leave now, please? That was pretty successful. <laughs> I mean, I, one grumpy <laughs> shopper. I'm very happy because now I don't have to shop for another six months. I mean, those four t-shirts are going to sort me out. <laughs> okay, we still need underwear. <laughs> Oh, damn it! Okay, I think we're gonna make our way back to Bike Mike and somehow so. cruise along oh. somewhere and then see where we end up. We'll maybe stop at the, stop the, mall. the shop again and see what Luxembourg's got to offer. We're gonna go back to Chilis make here. pizza later. Later. All right, shopping done. Fairly successful. <laughs> this one's a drama queen today. Imagine, no, my patience is about as low as my energy. So it's time to let... Uh, I, I forgot how many pairs of jeans I, I had to try on. But you didn't buy any. No. But we got t-shirts, we got socks, we got undies. So it was fairly successful. Go to Luxembourg, she said. <laughs> Let's go, go fun, shopping. She said. Good day in Luxembourg. It's ready. <laughs> Who's making stuff for tonight? <laughs> We're coming over to Sheveld. But those ready. Is it the one minute pizza? Never late in there, bro. Cheers, Cheers love. Okay. Bye. We see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Luxembourg is a pretty city. Hmm? Luxembourg is a pretty city. I'm very glad we came to see Luxembourg. The next day. Good morning. Yes, your hair's good. We're leaving our camp here in Luxembourg City. Well, we, be, we have to leave because uh, we've been Check kicked out. out. But we're just going to go up the road and stop and have some breakfast. And then I guess we're leaving Luxembourg. Well, no, there's one more thing to do before we leave Luxembourg. And that's fill up with fuel. Oh, yeah, of course. Because fuel is significantly cheaper in Luxembourg. Now we are got one more day. We'll probably spend somewhere in Germany. And then we're going to eat some friends for the weekend. So we'll see how this day turns out. How today is just a... Okay, let's go have breakfast and then we'll also get some fuel and then we'll leave Luxembourg. And then we'll go to Germany. Germany, bye bye. Germany, another new country. Wow, well, we've been in Germany. For well, 16 minutes. Uh, 12 minutes? Oh, 16, oh, 16 kilometers. Goodbye, camping. Camping. Oh. Yes. Germany! Right, Martinez Apotec. Let's see what you can do to help us.